Welcome to KCP Dynamics Tips and Tricks Quick Pick Number Four Renaming. Hello, my name is Michael Doheny, Director of Operations for North America. I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to give you a quick tip about how to rename. This blog about renaming, while it may not seem like a glamorous feature, I really like because it demonstrates the robust integration functionality of Dynamics NAB. Renaming enables you to assign new codes to your master data and retain the links to all related historical transactions. Before demonstrating renaming, let's review the primary key for master data items and analyze posted transactions. Then, with that background, you'll be better prepared to understand the significance of what Dynamics NAB accomplishes with renaming. When you initially set up master data items in Dynamics NAV, GL accounts, customers, vendors, items, etc., you assign a unique identifier in the number field. Here is the customer card page. The number field is highlighted with a red box. Now it treats the number field as the primary key for master data items. As the primary key, number is the link between master data items and the various tables where related activity is posted. Dynamics NAV is fully integrated. So what that means is when you process activities such as shipments and invoices for sales of inventory items, Dynamics NAV updates multiple application areas. So let's look at the results of posting a sales order in the Cronus Demonstration Company in W1 database using the ship and invoice option. The sales order is shown here. The customer is London Candoxy. The item purchased is side panels. Remember this customer. It's the one we will rename later. After posting the sales order, when you select the navigate option from the posted sales shipment, the page displays is shown here. Posting our simple one line sales order resulted in the following activity. A posted sales shipment, two GL entries, VAT entries or tax entry, customer ledger entry, detailed customer ledger entry, and value entry. It's pretty amazing that Dynamics NAV does all of this work when you click a single button. This is the beauty of a fully integrated ERP system. To keep track of all the value of the customer number field, the primary key, included as a field in the related table. To demonstrate that, the next few screenshots detail the process of drilling down from the Navigate page to the item letter entry fields. So first, click the number field in the item ledger entry on the Navigate page. You will see an ellipsis button available. It's noted here in red. Click on that ellipsis button. The item ledger entry page shows as displayed here. The next steps are used to view the listing of all the fields and their values in the item ledger entries table. For those of you with a newer version of Dynamics NAV, click the application menu then select Help about this page from the drop-down menu as shown. If you prefer the keyboard, use the keystroke combination Control-Alt-F1 from the item ledger entries page. The About This Page shows the selected entry. Expand the Table Fields Fast tab to see the list of fields in the table. Scroll down to the Source Number field. The list is in alphabetical order. Note the value of the field, the value of the customer number used in sales order 01905902, our customer. You can repeat these steps for various documents and ledger entries in the Navigate page to confirm the values. Now that we've reviewed primary keys and the results of posting a sales order, we are ready for renaming. At some point in time, you may need to rename a master data item. For example, if your customer assigned numbers to the customers that refer to the customer name and the customer name changes, your intelligent code then is obsolete. Let's see what happens when we change the value of the customer number on the customer page. For customer 019-059-02, London Candoxy, enter a new code for the customer. The screenshot shows the confirmation message Dynamics NAV displays when a new code is entered in the number field. 
I entered LON001 in the number field. You see the current number is not yet updated. However, when you click yes, Dynamics NAV not only assigns the number to the customer card, it also updates the historical transactions for the master data item. So when I navigate back to the item ledger entries using the steps documented before, and review, the page displays as you see here. This means now that in Dynamics NAV, customer 01905902 no longer exists. All of the historical activity now has a reference to LON001, allowing you to view, navigate, report, and analyze data using the new customer number. You can check the tables for other posted activity on the posted sales shipment or posted sales invoice, the results are the same. Everywhere 01905902 are is now replaced by LON001. As I mentioned at the beginning, the renaming functionality in Dynamics NAV is a great feature that demonstrates the integration and robustness of the software. Renaming enables you to assign new codes to your master data and retain the links to all related historical transactions. But one word of caution, before renaming, consider the amount of history in your database. You may want to use a batch process for renaming and scheduled to run during off hours to avoid possible system slowdown or table locking issues. This concludes tips and trick pick number four. KCP Dynamics has a network of over 200 employees and consultants spanning five continents. We specialize in consulting, implementation, and training for Microsoft Dynamics NAV, AX, and CRM, and many vertical applications. We also offer technical support to thousands of users around the globe. Let us know how we can help you. These and other tips and tricks can be found on our website, on our blog page. Thanks for checking in. Hope you come back and visit soon.